And, and what happened? What, what happened? The motion of default in. What happened? Well, I went in front of the judge and he yeah. wouldn't let me read it. No, my, I was, I'm sorry. I was with my father. So what happened? I was shocked. My dad attempted, went up there. The, um, I Mr. read it and I decided. Mr. Yeah, he asked, did I read my motion? And the judge says, no, I read it and I ruled. And it's a hammer. We as man lawyers, uh, if we were a day late, they'd drop the ceiling on us. Exactly. Right? And then my dad being a layman at this, he should have been given the opportunity or and even the courtesy so, so to give a, a chance. A, as this man was five months late in answering our lawsuit to put in jury Your trial. counterclaim, right. Right. Uh, and me, the judge didn't even make a time limit for him at that point in trial. So, Linda, you, you asked me one time on the phone, uh, Skolnick, can we complain to the Judicial Inquiry Board? And I says, it ain't worth the 32 cent stamp, they're a dead letter. Exactly. So we're, we're taking a, in other words, we're presenting your claim as a court victim to the public, the latest program. Right, but how do we go to speak to the devil? We've got, we got a, a counterclaim against your former lawyer that screwed this thing up. He has not responded, he's in default. And the judge scratches his head when you want to say something. He says, you know, you were there. What did the judge say? You let your dad... I read it and I ruled and hit the hammer. That's right. And okay. what the funny part about I this whole thing is, it. as soon as my dad's court case was called, Pendergrass comes from where the judge comes, from behind, that, behind there, which I thought very strange. It's like he knew the cue to come in the door. You know, it looks set up as well You don't suppose that Henry Hyde, the great crook, still has a... A dark, corrupt influence on this. The, of course. Oh, yeah. He's behind it all. All right, now let's, Gee, get, do you think? Let, let's get to the next point. You, you run a village newspaper, and uh, your mother writes a column there. What, 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 what you put in your column? What, oh, what, people write to me about all kinds of things. I mean, at one point they were writing to me about judges and what happened to them. Uh, what, what do you tell them? Well, I, I, it made me cry a lot. And be, people really? commit suicide and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Over, over they get things screwed by a crooked judge? Exactly. Did they write to you that they, they want to do themselves? We were in? doing right. No, no, no there are about judges at that point. And, and mm -hmm. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. why I couldn't, I couldn't handle it no more. We so were tell doing, us about your newspaper. At, at this point where my mom uh, enters this picture, we were doing stories about judges. And my mom had told her story. And from there, we were getting letters from other victims of uh, scandalous judges that went ahead and took everything they had, ruled completely wrong on different these uh, came out cases, that ended up and in the person suicide, was so desperate for an answer, because uh, they lost everything that they, this one man, did he hang himself? Uh, yes, in a moment, in himself. a moment, we're going to put up uh, copies. And the lawyer right. laughs at him. But uh, tell us when you started your paper and, and what you do with it. In what suburbs does it cover? I started the Village News uh, two years ago, and we cover uh, Brookfield, Lyons, McCooker, Side Lawn, and Countryside. Um, we, we have local news that covers the goings-on um, in the uh, village halls and the uh, city council meetings. We're um, looking at some of the headlines that you put up. Yes. Uh, how is your paper different than some of these other that are like throwaway papers? Well, our paper is not an ad paper. You don't, you know, uh, we do have ads that support, obviously, uh, for revenue. Uh, but our paper covers the news and what's going on in these towns locally. The paper is free, given to each home and each So is, your paper is not a throwaway shopping news, right? No, it's not. No, we. But we, you do you do take some ads. So yes. tell us, tell us some of the problems <laughs> since you're a publisher of a, of a small paper and you're, you're trying to tell the truth. What are some of the problems that the public should well, know about? Well, if we about? can go to the second uh, newspaper. Yeah, he's going to focus the camera on that. Yeah, keep keep describing it. Yeah, he's he's got it on the screen now. Go go ahead. Yeah, okay. that, that, uh, that was the story about the Lions Fire Department, and uh, we broke that story. We caught them while on the Fourth of July, leaving their station, their post, and going to get a beer, going on a beer run. Now we are in. Oh, oh, oh. a fire truck delivering beer. Yes, we had. We're fire a fire run. We had one. We have two fire trucks in the house. Truck. One was in another parade in Brookfield, an adjoining town next to us. Another one. This particular truck in the picture here I have was in Chicago picking up beer, hot dog, buns, cigars. They were gone for 45 minutes. We had no fire protection on the busiest fire day of the year, the 4th of July of this year. You're kidding. This year. I'm a five news guy now, uh, too. Uh, the pri a private citizen was so appalled by what they saw of them unloading. This is a picture of them unloading beer into the fa fire captain's house. And what did the other newspapers do about that? Well, they printed it after. They only printed the story after it appeared on Chicago. Who started? I, I originally got the story, but because we come out monthly, I came out after the Chicago. Did you catch a lot of heat as a result? Not 
not particularly with this story. I heard a lot. I got some phone calls over the phone, and I've got some, you know, um, nasty messages. But uh, they, they were they, it's, in this town. They particularly want to kill the messenger when you kill. Uh, okay, let's, look at, let's look at the third one now. This is a particular story that we did. We were the only suburban newspaper to print this story. It involves the village manager of Lyons, Kevin Close, uh, being arrested for a DUI. Drunk. Yes, and very drunk. The police officer in question was from Brookfield. This is a manager from Lyons. He was arrested and he testified in court that he was very drunk. Uh, consequently, he refused to take the breathalyzer test and answered no. That is an automatic suspension of your license of a minimum, I believe, six months. Uh, was there uh, reprisals against you and your newspaper? Well, tell what happened at the end of the case. What happened? Well, uh, uh, yes, there was. We received real heavy slack. And in the end, uh, we ended up losing advertisers because they got so angry at us for doing and featuring this story that they went to my advertisers and threatened them with health departments and all kinds of threats that they better stop putting ads in my newspaper. Even have been telling them not to as they already have. Yes. You mean either they, either they found one cockroach in the place or they had one in their pocket, right? You say, hey, you got a cockroach here. Not a, yes, yes. And then or if it was not of a restaurant nature type of business, they would say your sidewalks crack, your awnings falling, anything to harass them. And then the patron just spit on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. Uh, th that was the tactic they used. In the end, this is still being investigated because he was found not guilty of the DUI. His summary suspension was lifted by the judge because of a missing paper from the Secretary of State's office to the courthouse. So they cut so it didn't make it. He got all time because it wasn't in the file the day of the trial. And um, Mothers Against uh, Drunk Drivers, a representative had called me, and it's still being investigated because it was completely... Uh, the judge in the matter, I, from what I understand, was paid off. But... Uh, what uh, what did they do to some of your other would-be advertisers to try to to stop you uh, as telling the truth, which is good for the community, right? We're the only paper that tells the complete complete truth. Other papers will not put an article in based upon a big ad, such as Curry Motors. Um, tell us about that. We uh, we ne we we have just added on Countryside, which you saw in the first newspaper that was on the bulletin board, and yeah. they have yeah. a dealership yeah. called Curry Motors. My reporter had went to that meeting, and she reported that a hundred people had signed a petition complaining about brake jobs being done on side streets, brake testing. Oh, uh, wait, 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 explain. What does that mean? Um, it means that they go about uh, off, the, off the premises. They were doing correct, work. Correct. It's a side street. And the engines and all that noise were keeping people awake all night. Well, no. They were doing the side jobs on the side of the road, which means they'll go about 50 miles an hour, slam on the brakes. And disturbing people. Testing exactly. their vehicle, and then, yeah. um, at 3 o'clock in the morning, the trucks would come in. Well, of course, Curry Motors does not open until about 7 o'clock in the morning, so they st sat idle for about four hours, keeping the residents awake. So what happened was the residents said, enough, after five years of this, of complaining, we are coming to you, the mayor of Countryside, Carl Legant, and we're asking you to please help us. Through the newspaper? No, they, they came to the mayor and asked him yeah. to please help us and get this stopped. Well, Mayor, Mayor Legant had been there on several occasions and warned them and threatened with citations that this has got to stop. What happened in the end was that our paper ran the story about this occurring. No other suburban paper did that. We had an attorney from Curry Motors call us and basically call me names, uh, threaten that we'd never see an ad in our paper from Curry Motors. I said, well, I don't have one now, so I guess I'm not missing anything. <laughs> And uh, basically said we were irresponsible journalists for writing the story. Suburban life would never print this story. story. Yeah. No, how dare I? How dare I print this story about the new dealership? Yeah, but your reporter was just following the known facts, exactly. right? Exactly. And she printed it. Mr. Le uh, Carl Legant, the mayor of Countryside, if, backed her up. If my memory is correct, I think Curry Motors advertised also in the Tribune. Can we suppose that the Tribune would ever run a story like yours? I, I couldn't speak have, for the Tribune. They I can only speak for myself. They're these auto dealers, and they never have any of these problems. So I know his sister life was there, and they didn't print it. This is one of the problems with the media today. Yeah, tell us, if tell us. If you just sit back and you say, okay, this is a big corporation, I get such and such dollars, I'm going to ignore this. But the rest of the people, they hurt from this because they're the ones that have to suffer. This paper does not do that. This paper prints everything that I have evidence on. And we'll print it. I don't care what advertisers in there yeah. and what kind of money is at stake. Well, look at I sent my done. papers to, to Channel people. 5. I sent my papers to Channel 7 to Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, I saw you in this Nobody even gives me an acknowledgement. <laughs> they don't want the, the media to want to get involved. Well, you know, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm one of those that believes that 
Oprah is very talented, but her, her program is syndicated by the mob. But yes. that's, that's how I believe. So, Jerry Slavini, you know what I mean? Maybe we should have found the actual address, which we believe is in Oak Brook somewhere, where the mob now moved from the west side. And maybe your mother should have sent her complaint. I mean, why go to these other people? Send it directly where it has to go. No, no I, I, I know, that's too cynical. Well, listen, our country used to fight organized crime before. Now our country is organized crime. That's right, I like your mother. She's so outspoken. Like it yeah. That's well, that's why she's so fiction. good as dear Lenny. But, but tell me, tell me, Kim, you know, we're joking about things that are not funny because they, they try to hash you. Yes. Have any of these people gone to your adversaries and say, hey, the heck with this woman with her newspaper. Don't pay the ad. Have they done that? Oh, yes, they have. And in fact, uh, one of the people that they've done this to, the owner of Sonny Steppel Automotive, he is right now being an investigator for dumping oil on another person's property, and the EPA will be in contact with him. Um, it, the list goes on and on. Lyons has always been known as uh, a 